could choose if you wanted it to try to make it sound a little bit more formal. Then we're going to pick up the equipment, the equipment rental income. I'll just copy this down, copying that down. I'm going to indent now, alignment and indent. And then I'm going to call this total revenue, total revenue, your total revenue. That's what I called it. That's what I'm going to call it. Alignment, increase the indenting two times. I'm going to put this in the inner column because it's a subcategory. There are credits down here. I don't want credits on my statement because this is a plus and minus thing. So I'm going to flip the signs by putting a negative of the equipment of the 2260. And then I'll copy that down. Copying that down. Now I noticed that the the, once again, within this subcategory, it put the it put the one in alphabetical order up top because that's how we were, were mirroring what would happen in the accounting software if account numbers were not used. So let's see if we can shift this around a bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some space. I'm gonna put my cursor here. Now you can move this by putting your cursor on it, or you can say Control X, cutting it, which is probably faster, and then Control V, and then I'm gonna take this top one right there i'm going to bring it to the bottom because that's the smallest number control x and put that down here control v it'll keep the formulas that way so we're still pulling the formula over so that's still good and then i'm going to take this whole thing and control x and control v put it right up top so now it's in order like kind of the most important ones up top there equals the sum in the outer column so there we have it let's put an underline here font group and underline by the way, if it's a long income statement, you might 